Hey everyone, I'm here to do a May Munch Pack unboxing. I know this is really late, but I figured better late than never. Um, they did change the front of the box this month, and we're going to get started. So as you know, it always comes with the booklet. Um, I'm going to go through the mini box first. So the mini box would contain five snacks if you subscribe to it. The first thing is this, and they are called Crown Shin Zang, and they're crunchy wheat snacks with sesame seeds that are a sweet dream, and these are from South, Car South Carolina, South Korea. Um, they said they're supposed to remind you of churros. So, I don't know, there's a cute little animation on the back. I don't know what it's saying, because obviously it is in Korean. So, when you pop them out, this is what they look like. I would say that they definitely do not taste like a churro. It's a wheat snack. It does have a slight sweetness on it. They're interesting. They're good. I don't think they're going to be my top pick, but enjoyable nonetheless. Next up is the Double Dutch Honey Vanilla Stroop Waffles. Remember, I film in selfie mode because I do it on a camera. So these words might appear backwards to you. So it's a honey and vanilla crispy wafer cookie from Canada. As you know, you're supposed to put them on top of a steamy hot cup of coffee or tea. So that way they melt. I've had these in this box and other boxes that I used to subscribe to. And they're always very good. So this is what it would look like. And you just stick it right on top. This definitely has a nice vanilla flavor to it. A good level of sweetness too with that honey. I really like that. Alright, let's see what else. We also have the... Peppero Nude Chocolate, and it's a crunchy cookie stick filled with creamy chocolate. This is also from South Korea. This is by that Lot brand, so you've seen in like past videos, I usually get those cream filled koalas. That's this brand. So it's in a box, and it comes packaged in a bag. Oh, well, this one's broken, but this is what they look like, filled with chocolate. It tastes like a chocolate wafer. I'm not really getting a creamy texture from the middle. I'm getting more of the wafery texture. Also, in this box, we got the Yummy Gummy Silly Straws. And these are just gummy silly straws with real fruit. Apple, sweet berry, and sour lemon from Turkey. So the only complaint I bet I have about um, Munch Pack is that I feel like I always get a sour straw in it. I wish they provided a little bit more variety month to month. But these straws... This is so ridiculous. They tell you on their on the back that it's free from the top seven allergens. Egg free, fish free, like come on, there's gonna be fish in this. Soy free, tree nut free, sesame free, shellfish free, and peanut free. I could definitely understand like all the nut and soy and seed ones, but come on, fish and shellfish better not be using that in sour candy straws.
I'm going to grab a green one. They are white in the middle. So this one's apple. Um, it's definitely sweeter than on other gummy products I've had. But not as sweet as I would say like goo-us straws would be. But these are actually very tasty. I do like them. And then the last thing I have is this Nusita Napoleon cookies. So it's vanilla and chocolate cookies with a strawberry cream inside. And those are from Costa Rica. Why I open this? Their fun fact is South Korea's national dish is kimchi. And it's comprised of salted and fermented vegetables such as cabbage and Korean radish. I don't know if I would eat that. Alright, so here's what the cookie looks like on the side. So it has a character. So it's like a frog dude. And he's also on the chocolate side with the strawberry cream. There are four cookies in this pack. That cream has no flavor whatsoever. Um, it's a very nice shortbread cookie. Good shortbread flavoring in it, but the cream was definitely a letdown. So that's what you would have received if you got the mini. I get the original. So we're going to go into the rest of the snacks you would have gotten. I mean, I numbered my trusty cup again. These I was super excited about. So these are Vidal watermelon slices, and they're just sugar-coated gummy watermelon slices that are supposed to taste surprisingly like the real thing. And these are from Spain. So I always get nervous with watermelon stuff because I really like watermelon, but I hate the artificial watermelon flavor. I'm hoping these won't be like that. So, the green is on the top, and then you have pink belly. These are very chewy. It is a nice watermelon flavor. Taste. I would say it's not artificial at all. But the flavor does not stay long. It's an initial couple bites you'll get that watermelon taste and it like disappears. So I'm thinking it might just be on the sugar part of the gummy. Next, these I'm nervous to try. I got Zaps Evil Eye Chips. So it's the New Orleans. Get a taste of New Orleans with the Evil Eye Chips. With a subtle zap of heat. These are from the United States. You guys know how I feel about getting snacks from the United States. I am buying an international box. I don't feel like you should cheap out with things that we get around here. Oh gosh, these are really red. I'll give you a look into that bag. Look how red they are. Oh, this is going to be hot. So here is the chip. Oh gosh, I am nervous. Ready? Wish me luck, guys. If you're eating one chip, you definitely get that heat. There was no way I would be able to eat this whole entire bag. And the serving size is this whole bag. My mouth would be on fire. My mouth's a little bit on fire now, but it's bearable. Alright, so next up is this. This is a Crown My Chew. 
and this is in the apple flavor. And it says, the crisp apple flavor really shines through these tasty chews from Crown, and they are from South Korea. We got a lot of South Korea snacks this time around. This is our third one already. I'm hoping these are kind of going to be like um, high chews. I love high chews. I'm really hoping they didn't have a high chew in the family pack. No, they didn't. So they come in little things just like high chews do. The my chew is at the knockoff of the high chew. Here it is. It is completely yellow. I guess that's maybe for the apple. I don't know. I've never had other ones. This is way chewier and stickier than a high chew. It's got a nice apple flavor. Definitely, I think, a knockoff, but still very good. If they were around here, I would buy those, too. Mm. So next up is this. This is the Fritzy Extreme Extreme Z Blue Raspberry. So it's a kosher, I guess, gummy roll. It's just this, this snack is not only co kosher, but it will give your taste buds a delicious sweet and sour kick. Whether you receive strawberry or blue raspberry, either flavor will be a sweet surprise. And this is from Thailand. I always seem to get, like, the blue raspberry flavors. I'm still chewing on this thing. Which, I'm actually not a huge blue raspberry fan. But, I'm oh, sorry. I'm going to show you the beginning of it. So it's like a fruit tea. It's just rolled up in there. So I'm going to just take a bite. This has like no flavoring whatsoever. If I was blindfolded and someone asked me to identify the flavor, I would think they were crazy. There's no flavor to that. More sour than sweet. I do not like that snack. Sorry if fireworks going off in the background because my neighbors do them every single night. Alright, the last snack that we have is this. And this is the Chick Chack Everything flavor. And it's a crunchy, salty, everything bagel-inspired snack. They're just crunchy spirals from Israel. I'm actually excited about these because I love everything bagels. As I open them, I'm going to tell you the other fact for today. The other fact is from Costa Rica. And it says, every second Sunday in March, Costa Rica holds an ox cart festival called Dia de los Boyeros. Or a day of the ox cart driver in Escuela, not Escuela, Escuzu, E-S-C-A-Z-U, Costa Rica. So, fun fact. I will give you a quick look in. These are tiny, which I kind of like. Mmm, these are good. I like these. These are my favorite. Alright. So if you got the family pack, you would have also received the Chorus Whistle Candy Alien Cola flavor from Japan, the Swizzles Refresher Strawberry from the United Kingdom, Turkey Help Maple Popcorn from Canada, Canaro Pure Lemon from Japan. I don't know what that is, but it's that bottom corner. The Boy Bawang Barbecued Flavored Corn Nuts from the Philippines. Crown Churros or Haitiai 
baked potato biscuits from South Korea, the CW Yuja cheesecake from South Korea, the Noble Sours Cola flavor gummy, the Latte Yogurt Jelly Original Flavor um, from South Korea. So that's just a jelly and gummy form that you could like slurp up from a pouch. The ETI Pop Cake Banana Flavored um, Cake. So that was a banana cream filled cake with chocolate icing on it, which sounds delicious. And if you pay the extra money for the drink, the drink was the Fanta Ayukan Orange Yogurt from Japan. So, out of this whole thing, I would say my favorite snack was the everything flavored chips along with the watermelon slices and the apple my chews. Um, what I do not like would be this cookie. No flavoring except for the shortbread. I did not like this blue raspberry. And the chips are good, but they would definitely be a heat thing. So, thanks for watching. I'm not subscribed to Munch Pack anymore. Um, but let me know what other videos you'd like to see down in the comments below. Bye guys!